Hello there YouTube, Devin here again, and uh, today I have something special for you that is actually uh, a little bit kind of awkward to talk about, and I'm glad I got one of these. I actually have two of these. Um, this one is kind of in worse shape, so uh, I'm willing to open it on camera. Well, it's already open, but I'm willing to gingerly kind of disassemble it on camera for you guys. Uh, all of you guys that are interested, but this is on a what is a considered pretty hush-hush topic as far as military history goes and this is the treatment of venereal diseases and the prevention of ver venereal diseases while overseas because soldiers tend to get themselves into trouble as far as with the indigenous population goes uh, these came about, uh, due to a response in World War I, actually, uh, when U.S. soldiers and, uh, Canadian soldiers and British soldiers went over to France and, um, something that's normal in France is, like, red light districts and prostitution and stuff like that. That's normal in France at the time, and it isn't in other countries at this time. It's not really legal, so the French, you know, so these guys go over there, and this is legal, so obviously they're going to take their pay, and they partake in that, and they, the venereal disease skyrockets among Allied soldiers in World War One. So in World War Two, the army came out with this, uh, which is a kit designed to help prevent venereal disease, uh, but not to like treat it. Um, so, but here's what, here's, we have the Pro Kit, which is a U.S. patent office. Um, this is an individual, uh, uh, Hemichel, uh, prophylactic pack, um, otherwise known as what's called a Pro Pack. Um, and it says for the prevention against venereal disease only, and it has contents, it has a tube containing five grams of, uh, um, of sentiment there or something like that or ointment oh ointment sorry it's kind of worn off uh for army use only directions on sheet um soap impregnated cloth and uh a cleaning tissue so uh there's the item number it's made uh in chicago and it's uh printed in the united states this packet is so what this packet uh there's nothing on the back uh it is in pretty rough shape um See if I can show you this here, gingerly. Uh, it does have the lot number right there on what would have been the flap on this little packet. Now, this is what is inside the packet. and We're going to try not to damage anything here. Uh, this is what you get. It's a self-contained unit. Um, and it has a... We'll start here with the manual. They all came with this manual. Oh man, this one is, uh, it's, it's actually in pretty decent shape. It's just a little discolored. So, all right, so how to use the Pro Kit. Uh, pass your water, wet the soap and cloth, make a lather, wash all your private parts thoroughly for several minutes, then dry well uh, through washing with soap and water. Add the effectiveness. Uh, to the uh, prophylaxis, but if no water is available, use the ointment anyway for the protection it will give. Uh, so it tells you how to use it there. Break off the tip of the metal tube, squeeze about uh, one quarter of the ointments in the tube into the canal of the penis, massage the penis gently with the thumb and forefinger for a few seconds after injecting the ointment, rub the rest of the ointment across the uh, uh, outside of your penis and your uh, ball bag <laughs> in order to allow the drugs and the ointment time to take effect do not pass your water for two hours after using the kit if you can avoid it uh, should be used uh, as soon as possible after each sex exposure so this was a pretty thing uh, pretty common thing in World War II they weren't usually issued to every soldier but they were often issued to medics uh, quite a few of these kits. Um, here's uh, like the napkin type thing. All it is is a piece of paper. Uh, that's would have been the treatment cloth. And then we have this cloth here. Oh. Now the tube is actually still intact. But uh, as this kind of got wet, the tube is kind of disintegrated. 
uh, as you can see there. I wish, uh, see the label is all right here. This green paint is kind of pulled off, but it's, uh, it's just an ointment that you would kind of use to prevent receiving a sexually transmitted disease. I don't know how effective these actually were or how long they were issued or anything like that. Uh, but this is actually, I got this with the, uh, not with, but I got it from the same guy who sent me the Canadian, uh, army, uh, pattern 51, uh, medical kit there. And, uh, he said this was in there, but he didn't know if he could sell it. When I, I sent him a message and I asked him if I could, if he had anything else, I might be interested. And he said, well, this was in the kit, but it was he didn't know if he could sell it on ebay or not because of you know what it what it is um but i told him I, i'll make him an offer on it and we settled outside of ebay to get this and um here it is so this is the uh entire uh item here the assembly uh, i'm gonna put this into a ziploc bag and probably put it back in that same kit to make sure it doesn't doesn't get separated or lost because it did all it all was supposed to come together uh hopefully you guys like this video and you find this sort of thing interesting because i love military medical stuff and um i don't know how many of these uh anyone has ever seen before or documented or opened so hopefully this will uh solve those mysteries for you guys and we will uh if you have any comments, questions, concerns, additional information, uh, if you know how widely these were issued, if they were given to everyone, uh, if they were given to troops in specific areas and stuff like that, leave that in the comments because I don't know how widely these were issued because they're kind of a thing that wasn't so broad as far as military information goes. So um, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully you enjoyed this. Talk to you later. Bye.